And so this is Leiden. That was a nice uh, train ride from Utrecht. Check out the uh, massive windmill up ahead. And so Leiden here is a university town with uh, low-flying birds. And it is the site of the very first university in the Netherlands, established in 1575. It is also where the painter Rembrandt was born and lived and learned to paint. So uh, looking forward to exploring around here. I think I'm just on the edge of the uh, old town right here. And then the old town looks really nice. And so I will be walking in there and exploring around and just kind of, you know, seeing what I come across. A random uh, day of checking out uh, Leiden here. Nice to get a taste of another uh, town of the Netherlands beyond uh, Amsterdam, where I stayed for a week. A chilly December day here. As you can see, there was uh, more snow in Utrecht. It snowed last night. Looks like they got a little dusting here. And so this is definitely looking like a very classic Dutch town. Here we've got some signs. Museum de Lockenhall and Centrum straight this way, so. city is amazing. It's so beautiful. And so you can see here, similar to Utrecht, then there are the uh, restaurants and the uh, walkways down right by the canals there. And I think this must be the Christmas market. King. 
There's my uh, stroop waffles I was looking for in Amsterdam. place for Christmas. Cursed Market Leiden. Get your worst and your borscht. And so I think this is the city hall of Leiden. Good luck drying these clothes out on a day like this. tradition or something and so I'm walking to the young Rembrandt studio where Rembrandt apparently learned to paint The Mayflower, 1620, in memory of Reverend John Robinson M.A., pastor of the English church, worshiping over against this spot, A.D. 1609 to 1625, whence, at his prompting, went forth the Pilgrim Fathers to settle New England in 1620, buried under this house of worship, 4th March, 1625. A.D. 1891, I guess, was when this uh, memorial was made to one of the... Uh, pilgrims to the New World. Quite a uh, little bit of history there.
Hello, good afternoon. So this is all about Rembrandt, this yes. film? Yes, it is. I'll tell you a little bit about that. He was born at the Venice State. Is it here? That's where he was born, you said? Yes, here. At the Venice State. At the what? Venice State. Venice State. Yes. Venice State. Okay. There's unfortunately there's nothing really to see there right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Things have changed since... Yes, exactly. When did he live? 1606. Those two are the windmills that create spot. Okay. And the windmill that's here, that is kind of a replica of the windmill that his father had. I see. And usually people live in their mills, but the kind of mill that his father had isn't one that you can live in. So that's why they lived just across the water. I see. We have brought to the small group of friends he regularly hung out with. Jan, Martin, and Mary. They often played around the Petersburg. Jan Liefens was Rembrandt's best friend. They were inseparable. They both went to the Latin school before Rembrandt came to my classes. Jan often came to pick up Rembrandt after his class with me. Mary Chilton was a very sweet girl. She had the same age as the boys, but she was very smart. He lived on the Dramenburg, around the corner from the Pieterskerk, opposite the university. They often played with swords there. <laughs> Rembrandt had an impressive style and an enormous talent. In fact, secretly, he was one of my favorite pupils. He used the white lead pigment post. It had a firm structure, so you can clearly see the brush strokes. Rembrandt also mixed the oil with other products, like chalk, which made it even looser. He used it to paint the texture of fabrics, for example. I gave them different designs. Often I got them to paint landscapes to develop their spatial insight. My pupils were therefore able to better understand how perspective works. Painting water realistically is very difficult. So I sometimes took them to a river and we painted sceneries featuring water. Painting light was an important skill. To practice this I instructed them to paint fire. During this task, I discovered a very special talent in the young Rembrandt. There was a good reason why he was the best of all my pupils in the Chiaro school technique, which he used to highlight the contrast between light and dark. And he clearly learned it from me, thanks to my stay in Italy. big disaster over there with exploding a ship with a lot of gunpowder mm. so many of the city here was destroyed and actually you can see it already now uh, where the new buildings are standing with the like that that was built after the the disaster with the with the ship the when was that ship. it was in 1807 I see yeah and that's why we cannot show exactly any near the place where Jan Steen had his uh, yeah, Jan Steen had his house and business. Because it was, because it was destroyed? It was in destroyed. That? I yeah. see. Yeah. But after, oh, okay, yeah, after he was alive because yeah. he was in yeah. the 17th century. Yeah, Rembrandt was 1606, 1669, and yeah. Jan Steen was in the same. Yeah. They were contemporaries. Same. Yeah. Yeah. And Jan van Gooyen was also born here on Langebrug at the beginning, on number two, but he was uh, a painter who is famous about landscapes. Uh huh. So, uh, I see. when it's starting to get dark they close these gates so then they have no 
Yeah. On the off here. So he was the one who yeah, uh, he found it here. This one from the spec. He uh, like put up the money for this building. Yeah. You mean this com yeah. complex yeah. residential yeah. area? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, yeah, then there were a lot of rules to get in. Uh, you I have see. to be virgin, or you have to be man and wife. And when the man or the wife died, you had to move because it was only for couples. I see. A lot of strict reasons. Yeah. 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 And now we are at the church again. Yeah. So St. Peter's. Peterskerk. Yeah. Yeah. And this was also the church where the Rembrandt. Uh, yeah, it was. This was his playground. Wow, amazing. Yeah. And uh, here is the other one with all the names. Yeah. These are all the uh, pilgrims that went on yeah. the Mayflower or just different yeah. ships? No, there's... Uh, uh, different dates, so... Yeah, yeah. And actually these, uh, the Pilgrim Fathers live over there oh, in other places as well. Uh -huh. But um, this is also a Hofje. And before uh, Jan Persijn gave his name to this Hofje, there were uh, people of the Pilgrim Fathers living there. Uh -huh. And uh, they call it uh, the, the English Gate, because it was the Green English Gate, because it was green and you could go through. But, uh, I see. Yeah, and you do have on the other side, in the church, you do have also uh, a sort of a very small exhibition about Robertson. I see. Yeah. Five bucks or five euros. Bratwurst with sauerkraut.